Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, a little bit of a cloudy start today. I was beginning to wonder if it was going to rain, and then the sun came out, mm -hmm. and then I watched your forecast, and it looks like we are expecting <laughs> wah, wah, some rain wah, later wah, on. We are. <laughs> Tomorrow looks like we had the weather we had today. You know, clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, but then our rain chances begin to go up. There they go right there. Wednesday and Thursday, a 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms, and we're going to have to watch those thunderstorms late Wednesday and maybe even to early Thursday that some of these might be strong to severe. There will be the possibility of severe weather again late Wednesday and then again Thursday. The Storm Prediction Center already has us under a slight risk on Wednesday and again we've got to watch out for that hail, wind, heavier rainfall which could lead to some flooding problems and also an isolated tornado can't be ruled out either. And as we approach the end of the weekend of the weekend just 20% chance I wouldn't cancel any plans. You know how that goes. It's summertime just about and we are going to be looking at uh, a chance of an afternoon shower or thunderstorm, but right now all is quiet. Skies are clear to partly cloudy right now in our region. There's the dry line up and down the panhandles, and it looks like that will be the focus of showers and thunderstorms as we turn the page late Thursday, I say late Tuesday into Wednesday. As for tonight, it is 81 degrees here in Waco, 77 in Mejia, 80 Temple, as well as Colleen. Current temperature in Limpasas right now, right at 79 degrees. And there's a little bit of a heat index. Feels like 80 right now in Limpasas, 81 in Gatesville and here in Waco, our current heat index at 82 degrees. So this is what I expect in at midnight tonight. So looking at mainly clear skies. Temperatures will be in the 70s, but with our southeast wind that will not only blow in some clouds, but also more moisture. So you notice those low temperatures really not doing much. Lower 70s tomorrow morning under mostly cloudy skies. And as we go throughout the day tomorrow, again, a lot of clouds, little sunshine developing in the afternoon, and we'll try to pop up a few isolated showers and storms to our west out ahead of the dry line but still quiet conditions here in Waco, Temple and Clint. Notice the highs, upper 80s to lower 90s. There's the shower activity, and that's at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. As we go late Tuesday into early Wednesday, kind of falls apart a little bit there. We're losing a lot of that heat, which is giving it some energy, the storms. And I basically think that by early in the morning on Wednesday, skies will be mostly cloudy, but look how muggy it'll be, 75 to start. There's that complex of showers and storms off to our west. As we go throughout the day, and that southerly flow kicks in, the heat of the day, Showers and thunderstorms will start to fire up. Now, we do have a cap on top of us. That will prevent some thunderstorms from going up in the afternoon. The question will be, will the cap hold long enough as this little disturbance moves through? By 5 o'clock, there's a line of showers and storms developing off to our west. Looks like that will be moving our way late Wednesday into early Thursday. There's the latest from the Storm Prediction Center, and you can see we are under a slight risk of severe weather. That is for Wednesday night here in our region. 73 degrees, increasing clouds overnight, and then tomorrow mostly cloudy skies, very warm conditions, about 92 degrees the high. And then as we look ahead, there it is, 50-50 chance on Wednesday and Thursday with some showers and thunderstorms. We're going to keep an eye on the radar for you as we hit the weekend. Temperatures will be in the lower 90s, low temperatures in the 70s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Kind of the same story. A little bump in the road there Wednesday, Thursday, even early Friday. By the weekend, more sunshine and clouds in the forecast with highs low to mid-90s.